Today we are going to solve a division problem using decimals. So we are going to stick with our partial quotients. We're going to solve it using partial quotients, 179 and 76 hundredths divided by 5 and 6 tenths. Okay, so we're going to have what we know. I think I'm just going to solve it a little different what we know over here because I not don't have room over there and then add it up over here okay so what we know we're going to right now ignore the decimals and I'll show you what to do with those in the end so we're going to do what we know with 56 56 times 1 is 56 56 times 2 is 112 56 times 5 is 280 if I didn't know that, I'd solve it off to the side. Okay. 56 times 10 is 560. 56 times 20 is 1,120. 56 times 50 is 2,800. 56 times 100 is 5,600. 56 times 200 is 1,100, I'm sorry, 11,200. 56 times 500 is 28,000. And right there I know I'm getting too big because if I ignore this decimal I have a a number smaller than 28,000. So I'm done with what I know. Now I need to find what numbers closest to this number without going over. 17,976. Remember I'm ignoring that decimal right now. Okay, so the closest to that is this. 11,200. So that's what I'm going to use first and that is times 200, 56 times 200. So under add it up I'm going to put 200. Okay, so six, seven, again, ignoring that decimal right now, completely. Now what's closest to 6,776 without going over is 5,600. So I'm going to now subtract out that number. Okay, and I'm going to put the 100 under my added up. For the 5,600, I'm going to subtract. Okay, I got 176. Oh, I'm sorry, 1,176. And now what's closest to that is this number, 1,120. And now I get an even 56, but I need to put the 1,120 is times 20. And then I'm going to subtract my 56, which will be 1. I get zero, which is good. That's where I want to be. Now I'm going to add it up over here. And so my answer should be that, except now I have to think about it. I have to move my decimal and make this a whole number, okay, on the outside. So therefore, I scoop one in here and move it over. But I still now, in, I still have one decimal left over. So in my answer, I am going to have one number after my decimal. So my answer to this problem should be 32 and 1 tenth. Okay. Now I need to check that. So I'm going to use multiplication to check that because we always have to check division using multiplication. So now if I take that answer, 32 and 1 tenth, and multiply it by the 5.6 or the 5 and 6 tenths, I should hopefully get back to this number, 179 and 76 hundredths. Oops. Paper's moving here. And then I had one, two numbers after my decimal, one, two. I am back to my original answer, so that is correct.